Gigum247.com. Taylor Ham here with Derek Edwards, the star wide receiver of the Burnham Cubs. Derek, um, senior year, man, it's, you know, time to put up or shut up, as like people like to say. And um, I know committed to Texas Tech, you kind of got the recruiting process behind you. What, what do you do to, to stay focused on, on your senior year? Um, every day, you know, I, I come out and I look at these guys like Tim Cole and Rodney Hubert, and um, that just gets my mind focused on Burnham football. I, you know. I, I love the recruiting process. It make me, makes me feel good and, and things like that. But, um, you know, I know I got to come out here. We got we voted for captains, and Tim and I, um, Tosh Lohman and, John, and Joe, we all got voted. And, you know, that, that kind of makes me feel like I'm very important to the team, not only, like, with my skills, but with my leading skill, skills also. So um, if my head's not on straight, then, you know, it's kind of like the father of the house. If his, if his head isn't on straight, then, you know, the house is going to go crazy. So I know I got to come out here and lead by example. And you know, just do everything right, go hard, and I know I'm people are gonna follow me. I guess that's what leaders are for. So you know, um, yeah, like you said, the recruiting process is kind of behind me, but I mean, it's still there. But you know, I'm just working out every day, being a Brenham Cub, and that's how it is. So you said it's still kind of there, kind of alluding to the fact that you know you might you know thinking about other schools or, or you know thinking about taking up any official visits um, besides to Lubbock in, in the fall. Um. I mean, I, I've talked to a couple of people, um, you know, Coach Maynard, I talked to uh, Coach Craig Thorpe, uh, I talked to a couple of people about taking the visit, but, um, you know, like I said, it's, nothing is really solid right now, um, but, I mean, we'll see what happens, I'm just going with the flow. Absolutely, um, Texas Tech, obviously, you know, under, under new um, leadership with, with Tommy Tomerville and Lovick. You know, everyone's kind of interested to see, you know, what kind of offense they're going to run. Are they going to stick to a high pass, high, high power passing offense? Or are they going to kind of go back to a power running game um, that's kind of suitable in Big 12? Where, where are you going to be looking this fall to, to see how, you know, programs like Texas Tech, maybe A&M, Oklahoma State, and Arkansas do, and you know, maybe at that point reevaluate where we're at? Almost definitely. Um, my father told me before I committed that um, he always wants me to make a choice that's right for me. And I really feel like at that time, Texas Tech was the right choice for me. But uh, he was like, keep your options open because, you know, you might want to change your mind or things like that. You know, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. But, um, you know, like I said, I'm all for the team um, in high school and in college. Whatever they want to do, you know, that's what they do. Um, but as far as looking, looking at them, like, games that they play, um, Oh yeah, I'm gonna be watching. You know, I like looking around, seeing how people are doing. You know, just not the, just not the schools that that's offering me, but also like you know Texas, because they're always good, fun to watch. Um, Oklahoma, Ohio State, you know, just all schools, just to see, you know, what they have to offer. But um, yeah, it, it's gonna be a fun process. I know with with running football and college football, it's it's gonna be great. Yeah, I had a chance to talk to your dad early on while you're practicing. He's a principal over at the Burnham Middle School, and you know he said the same thing to me. Is that you know keep your options open. What what are some of the main things that you're kind of looking for when choosing a school? Um, I guess number one would have to be academics. Um, every day I come home, my mom is always yelling about academics. Um, that's number one. Number two is um, where it is from home. My mom told me that, you know, out of state, you know, that's kind of far, but, you know, ultimately it's my decision. Um, Lubbock isn't too close, you know, so, um, it, like I said, ultimately it's, it's my decision. Um, three is if they're a good football team, you know, I, I wouldn't want to go into a program that's not good at, you know. Um, so, I mean, that, that's really about it, just those three. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, with, with AM kind of in your backyard, all around it, you know, um, I know you get it on all way angles. You know, what, what is it about, you know, them right now that maybe is kind of keeping you from, you know, taking another look at Um, nothing. You know, I, I like AM a lot. Um, I talk to Coach Craig though, um, every now and again. Um, teachers at the school never let me forget that, you know, Texas AM has offered me. Um, you know, I mean, nothing really. You know, I, I, I look at him, stay, you know, like Tim's cousin. I always stay updated on his stats and how he's going to do. Um, their predictive wins and losses, you know, I, I keep up with it, but, um, you know, like you said, it's either put up or shut up time, and I want to see how they're going to do in the season. And Texas Tech, they, they're just so known for, for their, their high power offense, and, and, you know, you seem like you feel like you fit in perfectly there. Um, what are some of the things that you feel like you need to do to elevate your game from now until you get to college? Um, I think number one would have to be um, building up my body. 
um, as far as weight, but keeping my speed and athleticism. Um, I have to say that's number one. Number two is just, you know, focusing on the ball, um, focusing on it into my hands. Um, you know, it's just a little thing. I'm always told that, you know, little things get you so far. And I just got to go back to the basics and, you know, spruce them up, um, put a little oil on them, you know, polish them, and you know, I'll be good to go. Um, last question, besides, you know, Texas Tech, who are some of the other schools that are recruiting you the hardest right now? Um, Texas A&M, Oklahoma State, Arkansas. Um, those three, those three have really been, you know, really, really hidden. Um, just really those three. I mean, I, I've gotten letters from like Illinois. I haven't gotten an offer from them yet, though. Utah sends me stuff. Um, you know, just a couple. You know. And as for as far as official visits, have you started thinking about where you want to go? Um, yes, sir. I have. Um, I think I'm gonna take one to A&M. I'm gonna take one to Lubbock, um, Texas Tech, um, Oklahoma State. In Arkansas, but as far as that last school, you know, it's kind of open. So just waiting for that, waiting for a real, real, real good, good offer, you know, to come in. And I'm gonna go check out the school, you know, see how I like it, and you know, whatever happens. Happens. Great. Thanks, Eric.